everyone, it's Lexi and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I am a reseller and I thrift things. I go to garage sales and estate sales. I do whatever I can to acquire things that um, people are getting rid of at really good prices and I flip them online for a profit. Um, and today I have a mystery unboxing for y'all. So here's a mystery box. I um, purchased this off of Poshmark and I actually found it from um, Instagram because this is one of my friends on Instagram so I'm really excited to see what she put in the box so let's see what this was titled reseller mystery box um, I really liked that she had them by sizes so I definitely need some larger sizes in my closet so this one is size large slash extra large it was $25, um, came out to a total of $34, and the description says, Mystery box comes with five to seven items, some new with tag. Items that could be included are pants, jeans, skirts, dresses, jackets, and or tops. All items in this mystery box are in the size ranges of large to extra large. Perfect to keep or reposh. No returns on mystery boxes per Poshmark policy. So yeah. That's what I got. Um, I actually got a little sneak peek because she posted a picture of when she was packaging it. So I'm super excited about it. And she even wrote me a nice little thank you right there. So uh, let's get into this box. So nicely packaged. So pretty. Right. Look. All right. Well, we're gonna open the card up first. That's what you do when you open up gifts and boxes. So cute little thank you card. So sweet. So this is the house of Emerson. I don't even. I didn't even tell you all that. That's the. Uh, I will tag them below um, House of Emerson that is their handle on Poshmark and on Instagram so all right everything is so nicely packaged and different things so um I didn't even calculate let's see how much an item how much per item it would be well that was a silly question I gotta know how many items are in the box right okay so let's just start unboxing all right first thing squirrels and I love squirrels so already making me happy let's see it's super soft. Justify. I gotta learn to put it above my face, y'all. If my face is what messes up, I've figured out. This is a very soft blouse. It's in size extra large. I like the tiny details. This is really cute. Looks like there's no damage on it or anything. I'm just, I can't believe, you know what it feels like? It feels like it should be LuLaRoe. Like it feels like those butter soft leggings very soft very cute okay next we have a t-shirt from Kato oh this one's cute it says talk to the palm I love that for summer red take and like it looks a little like um the word boxy see I really it's like I'm a bigger I'm on the bigger size of girls I'm definitely gonna admit that and I like boxy shirts like this because they fit up top where I need the help um, and then I'm able to make a waist because there's like more material down here does that make sense so like I can tie this side and make myself a waist and it's cute I like this Kato size large and look see it's like oversized like that I'm not gonna say I could necessarily fit in it but it is oversized so very cute okay next okay also want to say um she did not know that I was gonna buy a box okay I'm sure that when she saw a box she knew that I was gonna review it but even though that's the case I'm still gonna be honest about everything so I don't want y'all to think that I'm gonna like do backflips over this just because you know we're in contact with each other over Instagram and we follow each other okay so okay this is H&M XL more florals now um I don't know if y'all know but little florals is in so like small floral prints is in and this is just a 
button down pop over super lightweight um so it's actually funny <laughs> because I'm thinking oh this you know I'm thinking oh like long sleeves like oh that's gonna be hot this is my like southern <laughs> roots shining through because um one of my friends and I um one of my posh mark friends were talking about this dress and it had long sleeves and I was like oh it'd be so cute for fall because where I live in southwest Louisiana you don't wear long sleeves from like I don't know April till November <laughs> I mean we don't really have like a fall it's always hot the majority of the year and so long sleeves for me is gotta be fall winter like I can't even imagine wearing long sleeves even um in spring or summer so this though would be a nice piece for someone who lived up north for spring you know I don't think that someone in southwest Louisiana would be rocking this in spring anyway I digress this is really cute really cute it's like oversized as well all right next I think I know what this is because I've been selling a lot of them oh this one's new with tags okay so we've got LuLaRoe if you don't know, I love LuLaRoe. In fact, this is a LuLaRoe dress. This is a Julia, I think. I'm kind of obsessed. It's new with tags. This one's a Cassie XL. The print is cute. Um, these, let me just tell you, they sell like fire on eBay, y'all. LuLaRoe is still selling. Okay, I'm not telling you to go out and pay full price, um, Goodwill thrift store prices for them, you know? Um, if you're, if you're like sourcing for yourself on your own, I don't, I don't buy LuLaRoe at the Goodwill. However, when I go to my 25 cent store, my 50 cent Friday, um, garage sales, if I can find pieces for $2 and under and they're in really good condition and, and normally like larger sizes, I pick them up because I love them. So if I love them, then other people love them. And they should look for them and they buy them. In fact, um, last week alone I sold four, maybe last week, last two weeks, I sold four Cassie skirts on eBay. And they were not new with tags. So they sell. I don't care. And then if you've been following me for a little while, you know how I feel about Disney LuLaRoe. Um, Disney LuLaRoe leggings, they will still sell, y'all. Quickly. Okay, so this is a dress INC in which I was told was a Macy's brand which I did not know so that's good to know um it's got lots of beads beading I don't know why I wanted to say bling because I'm not bling um shift dress it's this stuff makes it like really heavy so I'm gonna say that this is not necessarily like in style right now maybe it is maybe it's not I don't think it is I think this is more like 2000s ish but uh okay I'll put it eBay might might work out for me here XL everything is in very good condition and similar to that last box I had like ready to list like I can put this over there hang it up take picture list it um <laughs> watching my other uh, mystery box unboxings I'm like see those wrinkles see them okay next we have a nice striped piece this one's J. Crew. Hey, okay. I like this. Super cute striped top. Is it XL? Is that what it was? XL? Yeah. Um, simple, basic striped top. Excellent condition. Like, of course, I'm going to go over all of those whites to make sure there's no stains, but everything is fresh. Oh, y'all. Let me just tell you something, okay? Old Navy and eBay, they're best friends. They're best friends. I literally don't think I have a single piece of Old Navy in my closet. In fact, another one of my friends asked me if I had some Old Navy in my closet because she wanted to purchase some. And I don't because every Old Navy piece I have sells on eBay. Okay. And it, typically bigger sizes as well. So this is Old Navy XL. And this is so cute. I'm an Old Navy lover. So you give me anything Old Navy and I'm going to be like, yes. The popover blouse. Super lightweight. There's a cute little gathered sleeves down here yeah that's gonna sell on ebay like that i'm telling you watch one of my what's what sold in the next few weeks i'm telling you it's gonna be on there um it's so funny because since i shop at old navy so much um that's my aesthetic i've always been that way like i've always been like you know on the cheaper side i don't know name brands in fact i love doing this because i'm able to 
live vicariously through the things that I purchase to resell. Um, you know, quirky things that I could never pull off. I would never wear. Mainly because I don't go anywhere to wear those things. You know, fancy dresses, skirts. Um, and then when it comes to like fun patterns and everything. Um, and high name brands. Like that's what I love about this job is that I get to buy those things and I don't have to worry about buying them for no reason because I'm not wearing them anyway anywhere you know anyway I digress we have a dress and it is ooh, it's new with tags Finn and Rose which I've never heard of it is an extra large let me know below if y'all know this brand and where it's from it is a long I would say say I'm short so I would say maybe it's maxi and this is like um not quite velvet but like soft velour ish kind of stuff at the waist down and it's got like that nice striped pattern texture to it it is lined right this lined this is really cute um, I really think that it'll do well. You know why? Because it's difficult to find larger sizes online. It just is. It's difficult to find larger sizes that are cute um, in style and not damaged. Because when you're bigger and you find something that you love, you wear it out. Alright, so that's all I got. Let's count. We've got one dress, two three two dresses so three four I don't know why I made that difficult five six seven oh eight pieces so she gave me an extra one two three four five six seven eight awesome thank you so much let's just see how much that comes out 34 eight so 425 a piece so if you've watched any of my unboxings you know that I take a specific perspective percept blah, blah, blah. I look at <laughs> I look at sourcing like this in a very particular way okay so let's just say I went out and sourced this on my own okay what would it have taken it would have taken time gas for me, it would have taken childcare of some sort, whether it be my husband, my family, or actually taking him to a sitter where I would pay. Um, and then it would take searching and looking. So, time is money. Of course, gas costs money. Um, sitting, you know, babysitter, childcare costs money. So, all of these things add up. And so, for example, this shirt, okay, according to my calculations, cost me $4.25. Would I have gone to a thrift store, picked this out, and paid $4.25 for it? No, I wouldn't have. However, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> now, if I was somewhere and this was $2, would I have picked it up? There's a very good chance I would have picked it up for $2 or less. Um, every one of these pieces, pretty much, with probably that green dress with like the beading, I don't know if I would have picked that up. And you know what's funny about that? It's probably gonna be the first thing to sell. That's how it works. But anyway, any one of these pieces, I would have for sure picked up for two dollars or less. Some of them I would have probably picked up for four dollars. Um, so it took away all of that other cost, and and I, instead I gave it to a fellow posher. So that's why I enjoy mystery boxes. Not only are they so much fun because who doesn't like surprises and like digging through a box to see what you're gonna get. Um, I also think that mystery boxes like they take you out of your comfort zone when it comes to brands and what I mean by this is that um let's see what one piece in here that I probably wouldn't have purchased okay um let's see, justify okay I don't know anything about this brand I do think it's super cute and it's super soft um but like it's like it's not something I would have probably picked up at a regular Goodwill I don't even know how much I would have picked it up like at a, a good um, garage sale I don't really know because of the brand I just don't know right and like I, I want so much to stop focusing on brands as much and style um, and this gives me the opportunity to put this out there and say okay 
if this sells, then I know that I need to broaden my horizons. I, I mean, am I making sense here? <laughs> it just gives you the opportunity to experiment with things that you would never pick up. But someone else picked it up. Someone else saw that there was potential in there. And so you get to try it out. And let me tell you, I have sold so many things from mystery boxes before the things that I thought were going to sell. Okay? I, I could, I actually am planning on doing like a mystery box update where I go back and I say okay what sold from this mystery box um how long did it take did I make my money back um because I think it's really really important to see that we all have blind spots um about things that we want to pick up we don't want to pick up you know and uh I think mystery boxes are a really good way to like experiment and uh try things out that you yourself probably would have passed on so Having said all that, I'm very happy with my box. Thank you so much, House of Emerson. Really appreciate it. And I definitely think if you're in need for of inventory, to go check out their boxes. Um, I love that they're separated by sizes because if there's anything in here, like this, I would definitely wear this. Like if there's anything in here that I decided oh, I don't want to resell it, I'd wear it. I could because I purchased in kind of my size. Um, so yeah, you could, you know, go pick your size and you could have stuff to keep or to reposh. That's a great idea. So yes, like I said, this was not sponsored. I'm sure she knew I was going to do a review, but you know, for all she knows, I could have hated every piece. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again. Please go follow her. Go check out her mystery boxes if you're still needing some things to source during this pandemic and thank you so much for watching me um click that thumbs up if you like this and want to see more and i'll see you next time bye